Ivan Afrash. I'm the project manager at Alda, which is the lead partner of the SWAP project. SWAP it's, uh, it comes from uh, sports for women uh, in urban places and has the main objective of encouraging women's participation in sport uh, outdoor activities. How are we going to do this? Uh, basically through three main um, engines. The first one is providing a um, platform for exchange uh, for all the stakeholders in the field. The second one is through um, developing pilot programs in five cities, uh, partners of this project. And the third one is by developing recommendations on how um, uh, local authorities and civil society organizations can encourage more women to participate in outdoor uh, activities at the, in, at the local level. <music> Hi, my name is Vicky Dellers from the Mueller Institute, uh, the Netherlands Utrecht. Um, we are a sports research institute and our studies are about sports and society. So we uh, study the social part of sports. So my colleague Agnes, uh, Agnes Elling and I did uh, research on uh, the barriers, motives and required conditions for women to um, be or become active outdoors. Uh, well, the main results were actually for both barriers, motive and required conditions the same because uh, constantly three themes were coming back, namely um, social aspects, uh, safety aspects and socialization um, or um, experience aspects. Uh, with social aspects, we mean a barrier for women is um, they don't go uh, outdoors to sport because they do not have somebody and they will be motivated if they have somebody to go with. And also a required condition for them is having someone um, to go sport outdoors. Uh, then the safety theme. Um, a lot of women indicated that they don't go uh, outside to sports or to be active uh, because they, they feel unsafe. And also um, a required condition for them to um, go outside, be active, play sports is um, safety in terms of uh, lightning, uh, safe roads, no cars. And last, the socialization or experience part. Uh, well, barrier for women is they say, well, I never participated outdoor before. So yeah, th that's a barrier for me. I don't know what to do. So also a motivation or required condition for them to go outside is, um, well, whether there are certificated coaches on the uh, activities or the places where they would like to be active. So actually, yeah, the most important to remember, uh, thing to remember when you uh, want to um, enlarge the women's sport participation outdoors is to invest on uh, social aspects, safety aspects, and make them feel competent enough to practice uh, outdoor sports. So basically, that's the most important. I am Angel Gonzalo. Uh, I am a technician of the Granollers City Council in, in Granollers, uh, Catalonia, Spain. And we take part in the uh, Sport Women in Urban Place project because uh, we think it's very interesting to promote the activities for the men. But uh, in this case, uh, the woman uh, in the activities in outdoor place, uh, Granollers uh, will take uh, place the championships mundial, the handball, in 2021. And we think that uh, the previous three years, uh, it's the interesting moment to uh, mm, promote and to take part the citizens and the women in the different activities and sports in the, in the project. My name is Florin Ceparo, I'm coming from Remnico Sarat, I'm the city manager of the municipality. Uh, we are very happy to be part of this project because first of all uh, our motivation was to 
uh, take all the needs and the problems of the local community regarding the involvement of women in the local mass port and on the other hand to try to find solutions together with the municipality and with our partners in order to uh, increase the level of involvement and on the other hand to to share some uh, information very needed for us in order to reach these um, objectives. Two years ago, regarding our experience in uh, uh, involvement women in mass sport, we started with a local football team in the third Romanian league, and this is our best example and practically the start of a new um, of a new vision uh, regarding the topic. And right now we promoted it in second uh, Romanian league, and uh, this was the first example who that empowered us. Uh, with the idea that we can do more. And um, when we found the possibility to, part, to be part uh, in the project together with ALDA Association, we were really happy and we assumed this um, challenge to uh, restart practically our community and to focus more on, on uh, women at local level. Uh, also, Erasmus Plus is a very important uh, opportunity uh, to share ideas and also to connect communities and uh, involving women in mass sport at local levels is also a very important way to um, to connect communities and uh, Romni Kusarat is really open to, to be connected in this kind of network. Hello, my name is Paula Nogueira, I come from Guimarães, the birth city of Portugal. And uh, I come from uh, Tempo Livre, or Free Time, an organization that uh, is responsible for managing uh, sports facilities in Guimarães and also for implementation of sports policies and developing um, sports activities uh, for all. And we care about activity and physical activity and sports since uh, kindergarten to elder people. Now we are involved in uh, uh, SW Up project. We are engaged in a program that uh, wants to uh, involve more women in physical activity. Two concerns. We are aging as a population. We have a demographic problem. And also uh, women are the group of the most sedentary in our region and also in our country. So we want to face that problem uh, involving more women and to create programs and activities so they can enjoy our beautiful parks and outdoors and to promote physical activity for all, but thinking about no time and free time at the same time and being more active in, um, in a way that everybody can participate and also learn how to be healthier, how to be more active and um, how to promote physical activity and sports um, together. ALDA is promoting participation at the local level through different uh, tools and modalities and one of it is sports by involving both uh, local authorities and uh, organizations. We have more than 300 members all over Europe. Many of them are also active in the field of sports. That's why for us sports is an equal uh, measure to promote democracy. Um, ALDA is responsible also for uh, disseminating widely the event and uh, here in Bassano uh, we are organizing the first first multiplier event um, where partners presented their experiences in the field and the final results will be presented uh, in Brussels in June 2019 where they will meet with European um, uh, organizations with representatives of the Commission and Parliament to share the recommendations uh, for a better uh, involvement of women in sports. Mm -hmm.